Hi and welcome to part 3 of the David Kurzel hit and miss engine build. In this episode we're going to have a look at the cylinder and the water jacket. Um, all going to be made out of this solid block of aluminium. So we're going to be using the machine and on the miller machine using ball lead mills, normal lead mills and fly cutter and that. So first of all we're going to get this down to size and then we'll start the machine from that. But we'll have a look at the plans and I'll show you what we're going to achieve out of this block of aluminium. Well here's a 3D picture of what we're going to be ending up with. So obviously going to be made out of this piece of stock. And we've got the cylinder runs straight through the middle so we're going to have to bore the middle out here. And then we've got the water jacket here and we're going to have to machine into the water jacket as well to meet the cylinder. So... The cylinder head's going to sit on this end and then obviously the piston comes in and out this end. Here's a side view of the block and we're going to be using ball end mills to get these radiuses here. And we've got the liner is going to sit in here with a lip on it so we need to uh, machine that out as well. Then we've got the water jacket itself. Um, it's going to be interesting here because the water jacket size is larger than the entry hole. So we're going to have to come down probably with a bore and, tar, bore and bar with a wide cut on it to try and achieve this in here. And then there's just some other machinings we need to do on here as well. Obviously um, for fixings and various things. There's going to be a drill pattern here for the cylinder head. But anyway, so that's the drawings. What we'll do now is we'll start to um, machine this block down to size and then we'll start the various processes. So we're going to have to um, probably plan what we're going to, you know, what order we're going to machine this in. So um, to make sure that, you know, when we get to the last machine and we can actually hold it, you know, and machine it. So anyway, we'll have a look at that. Probably going to start off with boring the cylinder sleeve first and then we'll go from there and obviously putting the bolt pattern on the end here for the cylinder head. I think I will do that first and then we'll have a look at the, the rest of the machinings. Well, that's our piece of stock down to size and um, finished in that. So what we'll do now is we'll find the centre across this width and we'll use that by using the wiggler and then just come off the sides of the um, jaws of the vise and then obviously divide that by two and that will give us the middle here and then we need to come from the bottom. All the um, datums are taken from the bottom so we'll then have to come through three quarters of an inch and then we can start to drill our hole for the cylinder and then obviously bore it out to size. Right, so that's done. Right, so we've found our dimensions in the Y plane and also in the X plane. But um, the tip on the wiggler is four millimeters in diameter. So at the moment, we've got that sitting on the edge here. So to get the center line of the spindle to the edge of the work, 
we now need to move that up 2 mil, which we will do. So there you have it. So now, we can't really tell because we've got the wiggler in still. But now we'll have um, the centre of the spindle to dead on this line here. So what we can do now is we'll go and set this to the middle of the width of the block. And then we've got to move up from that point three quarters of an inch. And then we're going to start to drill our hole. We're going to go through a series of drills to get up to a certain size. And then we'll change over to the boring head and we'll bore it out to the finished size. Well, the cylinder's all finished, all bored out to size, and we've also bored the lip here for the cylinder liner to sit into. So what we've got to do now is put the bolt hole pattern around here to bolt the cylinder head down to. So the bolt hole pattern's got six holes, and we're going to be working from the center, and then using the DRO to go out to each hole, and then drill those holes. So anyway, we'll have a look at that, and we'll set the DRO up, and then we'll start to drill those holes. On here we need to start the bolt hole pattern, so we'll start pressing and going into the bolt hole pattern command. And then um, it asks us what dimensions we want to be working on. So obviously we want to be working just on a flat surface, but we want to be working in the X and Y dimensions. So we'll just leave that set to that. And then centre position, so that's obviously where the holes are going to be um, measured from. So we've got the centre of the circle all set up, so just enter on that. And then the diameter of the circle which the holes are going to be on is 31.75 millimetres. So I've already typed that in, so enter. And now it's asking us for a start angle. We want to be starting at zero, which is the whole pattern. Uh, let me just grab my paperwork here. So it, this is the way that the cylinder block is sitting in the, uh, in the Miller machine at the moment. And we want to be starting on this hole here. So we're in zero plane here. So we're going to be moving from the center and coming out this way to our first hole. So that's at zero degrees. And then it's asking us for an end angle. And again, if we go back to the paperwork, our last hole is this hole here. So we want to be going from zero degrees all the way round to 300 degrees because that's our last hole. We don't want to be going to a full circle, otherwise it will put the last hole back on the top of the first hole. 
So we just want to go one, two, three, four, five, six, and finish. So that's 300 degrees for our last hole. And we've got six holes, which is the number of holes. And then it's now asking us to start and move to our first position, number one position, and drill our first hole. So we'll now do that and we'll show you the holes being drilled.
So that's all the cylinder head holes done. So what we'll do now is we'll take this block out of the uh, vise and we'll now set it up on the rotary table and we'll start to machine the various arcs, what we need, you know, to get it to our finished um, shape and that. So anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.